The sales here are huge. Hey guys, it's Tom from Liquidation Motivation. I'm the guys that tell you where you buy all your truckloads at, where you get your merchandise fun. I piss off all the brokers. I get other resellers mad at me because I'm telling the secrets of the industry to you for free. I'm the OG of flipping. I've been doing this for a long time. I started out uh, 20 something years ago when I went to the Salvation Army, I bought a pair of Sabago size 13 wide sneakers for $5, put them on eBay and sold them for $75 in one week. That from that day on, I've been addicted to flipping. So in this video, I bought way too much stuff. If you guys can't lift that, let me know, okay? Right. I'll send out the, I'll send the girls out. Yes, sir. Oh, I got a very important conference call I gotta be on. And I'm, I'm out of liquor, so I gotta stop at the liquor store. That's, 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 that's the whole thing right there. It's not the call, it's the liquor. So I wanna be in front of my computer on my conference call at seven o'clock with, with my Jim Beam in my right hand. How you doing? So Stan, I have bought so much stuff lately, it's insane, I bought 50 pallets from CVS, we bought two truckloads from Dollar uh, Home Depot, uh, we, we bought another truckload of like ride-on toys and, and, uh, and refrigerators. This is the man, y'all come to resell America. <laughs> I mean, let's go. Let's go take a walk into my back room. It's just there, every room I have is full. It's like I need to take a break of like 30 days, stop buying stuff, and start working on selling stuff because I got rooms and rooms and rooms back here just filled with stuff. You can't even move. I mean, this is one of my largest supply rooms. You can see I got Amazon here. I don't even know what this is. This is Home Depot here. Turp, that's a, a Home Depot turbo load. Amazon, furniture, furniture, furniture. I can't even get in this room. There is so much merchandise, so much inventory. And then you go to my dock, which luckily I've been clearing a lot out of my dock today, but still, it's still full. Here's Dick's Sporting Good merchandise. Look at these. That's a Home Depot pallets. Those are nice vanities. I need to get those out. Those are hundreds of dollars. There's doors back here. Right in these doorways, I have three tractor trailers full of merchandise in these doorways. I bought a whole truckload of furniture and it's still in the truck. It's still in the truck. Why don't I get it out? That is one of my problems. I love to buy. It's so easy to buy merchandise in this business. I love to buy. And, and I've bought in so much, I just need to take a pause from buying and get the stuff out on the floor. Look at the, so if you remember the load we got from True Value, they were like, there were covers on this and then snow shovels or something on the top of it. So I finally uncovered it and found all this general merchandise in the bottom, which is pretty cool. But this is, remember they sold me that load, 20 to 40,000 new items in the box or maybe box damage. And so I expected the whole load to be like this, but the whole load didn't come anywhere near that. I can't even show you what it is because I got such a mess back here. I gotta clean, this is what the load, this is what the load looked like right here. You can see there's, I don't know what's that, a vacuum cleaner, I don't even, paper products, a few, I mean, look how trashy this looks compared to that. Now, if I would've got a full load like that, I'd have been very happy, but this is how it came in. There's no way there's 24 pallets of this that you're getting 20,000 to 40,000 items. So that, that, that I will never order again. This though, this is my first general merchandise load I got from Home Depot out of Georgia. So these came in, I, I'm not gonna say it was great, but it was, it was decent. I mean, it, it wasn't a home run, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a failure, but it was decent. I can definitely gonna make money on it. I just don't know, and this is what I have to do. General merchandise for Lowe's are back available again. I have to order two truckloads of those because those were shitty for a little while, and I don't know if they're better now or not. I'm seeing some better reviews on them online now. So, and they're about $1,000, $1,500 cheaper than I can get the Home Depot for. And I'm buying this straight from the contract holder. So if I can get the Lowe's for $1,500 cheaper and they're similar to these, then I'm gonna buy the Lowe's and I'm not gonna buy the Home Depot. So I gotta figure that out. I, look, what am I, what am I freaking doing? I just said I don't 
don't want need to buy anything else and now I need to buy two more loads. No, I'm not gonna buy anything. I need to get everything. I need, I want you guys to see this whole room cleared out, swept, ready to rock and roll so I can process stuff. I mean, I need to start selling stuff. It's so easy in this business, especially when you have a surplus cash flow, you know, to buy, 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 buy. But the truth is you just buy your butt off and you need to get it out on the floor. I cannot make a penny off any of this stuff in these back rooms. There's $100,000 worth of merchandise in these, maybe even more with the tractor trailers added in. I can't make a freaking penny off it if it's not out on my floor. So my goal, for the next week, for the next month, is to get everything out there on the floor, ready to sell, and start selling merchandise. You know, uh, with the uh, corona going on, you know, we got all these little kids running around here, and uh, they're like everywhere lately. They're everywhere, riding scooters in the store, hanging out on the counters over here, sitting in chairs. I mean, you know, it's, it's like you have to make special provisions uh, with the way the economy is, the way the school's going and everything like that. Now, I don't know at what point does it become a liability? You know, is it a liability having all these little kids running around here? I mean, it certainly makes it fun. They are a little distracting. I don't think we get as much work done as we should, but, uh, but it is a pleasure having them here. Um, so kids are like roaming all over Resale America today. Yeah, let's go out to the pallet floor. We just got a whole bunch of new pallets in. So my pallet floor was looking a little bit shoddy for a little while because inventory was hard to get. And now I just, I'm taking all the loads out of my back room. I just got in all the extra loads. Let's run down through our pallet sales and see what we got. I mean, these are, these are the CVS. This is a CVS food must be. These are real expensive, a lot of teas in here. The CVS is always good, clean product. Great clean product. What are you moving them for? I got people. I already told Rhonda to do it. Listen to you. What are you? <laughs> Toothpaste. Look at the, this. Is, so this is health and beauty from CBS. But but I mean, look how clean that is. Look how clean it is. It's beautiful merchandise. You know, a lot of times, like you buy the Walmart stuff, there's stickers on it. There's like the uh, the return receipt on it, taped to it. It looks like crap. This stuff is so clean. This is perfect. Perfect merchandise for anybody who owns a store. Here's a whole bunch of medicines. Revitalizing white charcoal. You ever use that charcoal activated toothpaste? You ever use that, Stan? It's like black and you get, you get in your mouth, you gotta use the charcoal. I mean, it really does clean, but then you got, you, you're spitting out black stuff for a while. You gotta go brush your teeth again when you're done to get all the charcoal out. Here we go, toothbrushes, bamboo charcoal toothbrushes. A lot of toothpaste. This stuff sells great though. This stuff, all the toothpaste sells great. You can see here, here's some of our Home Depot loads. That's garbage cans there, some fans and miscellaneous heat, heaters and Looks like a fireplace. Look at that mold killer paint. What else we got over there? I know we just brought out about 50 pallets today. These big boxes like this are generally, these are generally seasonal boxes. So the one of the worst seasons to buy is Valentine's Day because, and this one is all Valentine's Day. So these don't sell that. I mean, I don't know if kids really give these out anymore in school. I'm not sure. Maybe Corona really hurt that, but uh, they're not an easy sale. You can see they were trying to sell them for 75% off. So we got this whole box of Valentine's Day and we're selling the whole box for $320. Um, one of the ones that I do like, the holiday ones that I do like to get are the Christmas ones. Because not only do you get Christmas de decorations, which I like to buy all year round, but then you also get toys, right? Because, because there's a lot of Christmas presents and toys. Here's, here's some more general merchandise ones. Look at this, all backpacks. What's that, uh, an exercise equipment, some more backpacks, all brand new, all CVS stuff, good stuff. School supplies. You know, you re remember in this business, you can't buy in season, you gotta buy out of season. So it's, it typically takes a whole year for you to go through the cycle so that you can, uh, so that you can get ahead of the inventory. So, you know, you buy Christmas at the end of last Christmas for next Christmas and you just hold on to the pallets, you have to. You buy it for, you know, penny, five cents on the dollar and you can sell it for probably 50 or 60 or 70 cents on the dollar when it comes Christmas time. 
You know, and that's how you make all your money. In the meantime, we do sell some of the pallets by themselves. Hand sanitizer. This used to be gold about a year ago. Now, now you can't give it away. Fabric spray. I mean, there's just stuff everywhere, everywhere. Here's some more holiday pallets. So we'll be set come next holiday. So this is all Halloween, 100% Halloween. Do you, think, do you think next Halloween a Trump? Maybe we can get Mandy to try that on, huh? <laughs> that, that might work for next Halloween. This one is, uh, yep, this is Halloween also. But you see it's mixed with balls. You know, things like this in your Halloween, you know, these things sell all year round. You can, a lot of Halloween will sell all year round. You don't have to worry about, I'm, I'm not afraid to buy Halloween. Halloween, here's Christmas. See, this is an example of the Christmas pallets that we're gonna have for next year. So we have about 20 of these and a lot of them are stored away, but there's presents in there, there's lights, there's, there's everything, garland, everything you would need for Christmas. And these will fill our shelves come next season. You know, all brand new merchandise, brand new merchandise. This is our Amazon books stack. These are regular books, but these are Amazon books. So Amazon unscanned books here. We sell them for $600 a pallet. We do sell books that come in from our uh, from our customers for $250 a pallet. They're not the same quality kind of books though. Clothing, people bring us in clothing, so we just palletize the used clothing. We sell the used clothing for $250 a pallet. That's this right here. So this is more the Home Depot. That's kind of a small pallet for Home Depot there. There's a bunch of wash basins. You see a rototiller here. I don't even know what's in some of these boxes. Here's a big box. Looks like medicine cabinets. See, we don't even look in the bottom of these boxes. We have no idea what's in them. Um, Home Depot, Home Depot, Joe Rotisserie, Joe Tisserie. Oh, look at those push lawnmowers. A whole bunch of push lawnmowers down there. This is an office, office supply pallet. So it's got office desks. Look at those. Those are uh, massage chairs. Maybe, uh, maybe I can use one of those massage chairs in the back. Put one in my office. Where's Mandy when? You, where's Mandy when you need her? Just joking. Uh, space heaters. So this. So this. I, I need to tell you what this stuff came. This stuff came from an e-scrap recycler that picks up free from Amazon. These are larges, not the smalls, these are larges, all right? So this is large, big stuff. So he, I don't know what the deal is, but so he, he, he sells in his warehouse, out of his own warehouse, and then he palletizes up what he, what he has a harder time selling and sells it to me. I pay 25% of retail, which is kind of high for me. I like, you know, I like to be lower than that because I know you can buy the medium, the Amazon medium pallets, truckloads for 12.5% of retail. But he's local, I don't have to pay shipping. All these came from that. So office chairs, fans. Oh, if this is a pallet of fans, this is like gold right now. This is gold, these fans. Fans are incredible. And, he, and, and when you live in Florida and you got a pallet of fans, oh, these are a whole pallet of pressure washers. Look at that, whole pallet of pressure washers. That's cool, that came from the same guy. What's this one here? Another pallet of something, I don't even know. See, my problem buying from these guys is that, you know, they do their own sales, so all the good stuff gets sold. So they ship me the bad stuff, or the stuff that's not as marketable. Um, they just need to be cheaper in price if they're gonna do that. I don't mind buying that. I have no problem buying that, but you can't charge me 25% of retail if you're, gonna, if you're gonna do it that way. This is, a, this is a Walmart pallet, one of the worst pallets you could ever get, Walmart. All stickered up, you know, diapers and everything in here, but they're cheap, so it's good, it's cheap. I pick these up for 250 and I sell them for 350 here in the store. So lots of diapers, look at all those diapers. Diapers sell in a minute. In one minute they sell, they're perfect. Okay, so if you haven't liked and subscribed to my videos, please go down there and hit the, the like and the notifications bell so that you can, get, uh, you can get notified anytime that I have a new video coming out. Remember, I'm Tom from Resale America where I have the world's largest liquidation store in the Lakeland Square Mall, Liquidation Motivation Arts channel. So now go up there and make some money. Hey.